all know how precious the life can be and how it can change in a heartbeat, but Elise and her daughter Zoe certainly know that more than most. Yeah, they've been through some really tough times over the last few years, but they've got an incredible man who's gone above and beyond. Yeah, so Elise has called and asked for our help to show her gratitude, and we're here to turn her nan's backyard into a place everyone can enjoy. We better head out there, Ben. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got a delivery for you, Norma. That's <laughs> a big delivery. <laughs> a bit of a surprise? Uh, yes. Yeah. Surprise! <laughs> Elise actually contacted us and she told us that you play this amazing role in her life. So maybe you could explain that first to us. For the past, I want to say, two and a half years since Andrew passed away, or even before that, you've always been there for me. And, you know, as soon as Andrew past you were like I'm gonna build this granny flight for you and for and for the baby and um, I couldn't think of a way to repay you I was like oh my gosh so I thought you know what I'm gonna see if the Better Homes and Gardens team can help me surprise you with uh, some brand new garden <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Is there anything that you particularly want here done in the backyard? Oh, I'll leave it to the expert. <laughs> <laughs> Something that doesn't need pruning because I'm past the age of getting yeah. on ladders and trying it's to... It's a low maintenance. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And that's why Charlie's here. He's yeah. the man with the plan. <laughs> yes. And that's we can right. construct it and make it happen. <laughs> the granny flat is sort of sitting in the garden and there's no garden around it. So we really need to bring back what you've already started and just improve it. We figured this is a nice way for you to be able to celebrate Mother's Day because we've got generations here. Yes, and it's absolutely yes. so special for us yeah. to be able to do this for you. Thank you, Nan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're feeling fine. OK, so we've got the main house here and then a couple of metres away is the granny flat. It has taken up a big chunk of the backyard, but we do want to make the most of what's left of it. So, Charlie, what's your plan? So I'm thinking curved garden beds. Oh, nice. Soften it. We need to soften this wall. We need to have a deck off here, Adam, where you can shine. Yep. But first, I'm thinking those flagging stones, I'm going to pick those up and we can use those for stepping stones. Yep. We'll need a retaining wall to replace them. OK, so, so you're going to put can... me out the back? Eventually. First, I'm hoping you can <laughs> you can clean this off, give this a bit of a pressure wash first. Your time to shine's at the front, Okay. Yeah. then out the then back. Out, OK, all right. I really feel like this garden bed needs some curves in it. That way we can bring in lots of planting. But I'm using a conduit to get these really nice curves. By using a long line like this, you get a simple singular curve without any breaks or kinks in it. I put a couple of dots on the grass where I think the curve should go, just as a guide. But I can assess once I'm happy with it, I'll spray it in and chip the grass out. OK, so we're painting this exposed concrete at the bottom of the house in, surprise, monument. Now, you've heard us talk before about how it's a fantastic colour to use, either in a fence because you tend to look through it as opposed to focusing on it, or in the bottom of a house like this so it actually anchors it into the soil. But the other reason is we're going to have a beautiful garden bed along here. And when you actually put any colour foliage or flowers or even it's just a variety of different shades of green, it will really stand out when it's actually planted right up against monument. <laughs> Charlie needs me to build two frames, one to hide the rubbish bins and the second one to hide the hot water system. I'm just using these screens that you can pick up off the shelf from the hardware store. And for the frame, I've got some 90 by 90 treated pine. I'm using some bugle screws to hold it together. At the bottom, just done a halving joint in the middle, hide the three posts together. Oh, what do you reckon? Nice, huh? Good. <laughs> I think he liked it. Next to the granny flat here, I thought it'd be really nice to lay some stepping stones to connect what will be the new deck to what's going to be a new kids' play area. We're reusing the flagging that we found from the old retaining wall, and I'm just laying it on a sand cement mix. I'm following the grade of the grass, so you don't need to be 
Two spot on. I'm just using a level to check. I've still got it. When you're laying in a regular shape, like these flagging stones, you really want to work out the centre to centre. We're going 650 mil. That way, your steps will all be even, and it doesn't matter about the shape around the outside. Norma is a one-in-a-million nan who's helped her granddaughter release and great-granddaughter Zoe through some incredibly tough times in recent years. So we're actually helping them do a little project to, well, give back and show their appreciation and love. Yeah, it's a Mother's Day makeover that is going along at a cracking speed, apart from Adam, who hasn't <laughs> even started building his deck yet. Whoa, 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 I've been pretty busy. I'm still oh, making those whoa, screens. Whoa, whoa. You wanted the bin? Tiki-toki, yeah. tiki-toki, tiki-toki. I'll tell you what, lucky he's only got a watch and not a whip. Well, here's the bad news. He actually doesn't have a watch. <laughs> I do have a whip, though. That's my cutie bit of envy. <laughs> Charlie might be threatening to get his whip out, but things are progressing nicely. And with the frame for my bin screen assembled, I'm getting ready to put it in place. Hopefully the holes are in the right spot. <laughs> Look at that. And with it in the holes, now we just need to level it up, and then we're going to use some concrete to hold it in place. Let's see how good we are, Scotty. Now we're at about 100 mil, mate. He must have done it. <laughs> While I wait for the concrete to set, I can get started on my decking project. The idea with this entrance is we want to extend this landing by about 1.2 metres. That way, it'll allow you to set up a nice little table here. You can sit down and look out at the new gardens. For the steps coming down, we'll have wraparound steps. That way, you can access it from both sides, but also, it'll give it a bit more of a grand feel. The first thing I need to do is rip out these old steps, which is nice and easy to do. <laughs> So, Elise, tell me about Andrew. I met Andrew on a ship, and it was love at first sight. And um, oh, he was just so full of life. Yeah. He was so loving and affectionate, and we were together for, for six years. And then, obviously, you know, he had that brain hemorrhage and passed away. But everything about Andrew is in Zoe. Yeah. Everything. Tell me more about that life that you led, because you, really, you went all over the world, didn't you? Yes, we did. You should know that. We worked on cruise ships for a couple of years and then we moved to Miami and then we got married and we were like, let's start a family. And I said, well, I'd really like to move back to Australia. And so we moved here and... But then life changed in an instant. And... Instant. So on um, the morning of the 6th of January at 10 a.m., we went in and it was our three-month scan and you know, we didn't know we were having Zoe at the time. We were keeping the gender a surprise. and. It was just so magical because you know he was he had tears in his eyes and it was like oh my gosh you know we're gonna have a baby this is real and at um, 10 p.m. that night he was rushed to Royal North Shore Hospital having so, suffered a just a sudden brain hemorrhage the doctor came out she's like Andrew's really sick he's really sick we've put him in a coma and even then I still remember thinking but you put him in a coma yeah, so he'll come so out. He'll, he'll come out of it you put him in there to help him heal. You know, 28 days of waiting for that smallest kind of sign that he was going to come back to life. And um, in the end, 28 days, they sat us down and they said, I don't think oh, he's nice. going to make it. And at that point, I was, I was four months pregnant. Here's my husband, you know, and I've got to make the hardest decision of my life to say goodbye to my best friend and the father of my child. Oh. Um, but, you know, I'm so lucky that I've got her because he gave me the greatest gift. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I see him and her every single day. So tell me the role then that your Nana played because you, you have this amazing family and friend support. I just, I owe so much to my Nana and, and just having you guys help with the landscaping is just the smallest thing that I can do for her because I could never repay her for what she's done for me. And Elise, you told us when we came here that, that you didn't think that your Nana would, would be overly no. surprised <laughs> that we were here because she's pretty controlled and she just yes, gets on she's so very strong. practical and yes. strong and she gets on with things. So how do you think she's going to react when she sees it all done? 
I think she'll be speechless. <laughs> I honestly think she'll be speechless. Do I need to work harder? Yes? I'm just telling you what I'm watching the Wiggles. Oh, you're watching the Wiggles. Are you watching a bit of mashed potato, mashed potato? <laughs> For the frames, we've just made them up in modular sections. So we're getting this big platform on first, and then we'll add the stairs. We're going to utilise the slab that's here, attach to that, and then just add a post on the outside. Hey. That'll be good. Beautiful. To set the height of our frame, I've just got an off-cut of decking board. We'll line it up on both sides and then we'll be holding it in place with some masonry anchors. Yeah, nice one. Charlie would be happy to know that the frame is finished and the decking boards are starting to go down. For that, we're using some spotted gum. Now, we've just set up the perimeter one, and that way it hides the end grain. It's 20 mil higher than our frame. I've had George cut these boards to size for me. That means I can get them all in place, and then I'll use some four mil spacers, mark my lines, and simply screw them off. I think Charlie's going to be happy about this. Adam, I'm not suggesting you're taking a long time, but would you like me to help finish off your screens? Well, I feel like I'm holding things up, Charlie, so that would be great. You are a very nice man. I did your retaining wall as well, yeah. just saying. Oh, that hurts. Charlie, I mean, you were absolutely riding, Adam, but surely you agree this looks fantastic. It does look fantastic, as does the edging, the stepping stones, oh. the screens and the cleaned concrete. You just don't stop, mate. It's like a compliment with an extra little tickle yeah, on the end. He's lucky I like a tickle. <laughs> not the first time I've done that to Adam, too. We're giving Norma an early Mother's Day gift to say thanks for all the help she's given her granddaughter, Elise, and great-granddaughter, Zoe, <laughs> getting them through some really challenging times. 10 p.m. that night, he was rushed to Royal North Shore Hospital. The doctor came out, she's like, Andrew's really sick. We're giving Norma's backyard a makeover in the hope it will be the start of much happier times. Everything is coming together beautifully. Looks very nice, including your steps, Adam. Oh, thank, thank you, Charlie. Thank you. Nice. And the edging and the steppers. And did anyone notice the painted shed? Yeah, oh, the yeah, shed. Well, well, well <laughs> you can't even was... notice it there. <laughs> I had to point it out to you. Yeah. <laughs> but now... Oh, hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. But Thanks now we're really much. excited. Now we're getting excited because <laughs> it's time for planting. All right. Well, tell us what to do. You've been bossing this around all day. How are you at, like, sticking things together? Jo? Yeah, what sort of things? Like what? a little cubby house. Oh, I'd love to do a cubby house. Mm, OK. She's going to regret that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad she said that because I don't want to <laughs> we'll put 2,000 pieces together. Oh, look at you two. You yeah. both look so jacked. Yeah. You can do that easy. That's what we are, jacked. Yeah. <laughs> oh. and this is one of my favourite trees. Is it a maple? It's a crepe myrtle. Ooh. So in winter, you get this amazing bark gets shown off, and yeah. then in spring, you get new growth. And then at Christmas time, this is a variety called Natchez. It's a lovely white flower. Let's see how it looks. Oh. I'll right. make a designer of you yet, yeah, Adam. It's perfect. Um, just so you know, we thought this was going to be a really easy cubby to put together, but it turns out it's come in 480,000 different pieces and the instructions are really easy to read. <laughs> Said no one ever. <laughs> wow. So, you know how we said we'd have this done for Mother's Day? We just didn't mention which year. <laughs> Did you enjoy putting that together, Joe? <laughs> Do you know what? We got there in the end. It was definitely teamwork 
that made the dream work. Uh, would you say it was fun, guys? Very fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're all making it up now. I'll remember that. I'll remember that for the next one. <laughs> When you've got a big blank wall like this in a garden, it's so important to get some greenery in front of it. It'll soften the whole landscape. You could put some climbers on here if you're tight on space, but I'm going for camellias because they can be kept really narrow. They've also got a shallow root system, so I'm not concerned about planting up against the wall. And then all through autumn and into winter, they get an incredible display of flowers. Oh, hello again. For me? Oh, am I not supposed to give you the flowers? So, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, go on. You're just stealing them from Nana, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, look. Thank you. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, mommy. Are they from your mommy? Beautiful. I keep that. If you're after a cottage garden look with lots of flowers, you can't go past the combination of butterfly bush and Mexican sage. They will flower from summer all the way through autumn and into the beginning of winter, and the care for them is exactly the same. Once they finish flowering, just chop them down and they do it all over again. And then in the front of the garden, I've got pops of colour with these dahlias. Oh, how gorgeous. What do you think, Grigsy? I think it is absolutely gorgeous. It's eclectic, it's pretty. Should I turn the aircon on? Huh? Should I turn the aircon on? <laughs> how come I'm the only one sweating? Oh, is it gonna fit? Yeah. Of course it's gonna fit. Okay. Go. Cool. Ooh, uh, can I? Oh, I like that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. You don't like my lanterns though? No, I do like your lanterns <laughs> a lot, you. but I'd have to say that's my pick. I like it. I do like that. That's good. It all looks so fabulous. Yes. I think we're done, aren't we? What a challenge. Yeah, yeah. definitely. That means we get to bring Norma back. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> Oh, isn't that great? Oh. A little bit different, yeah? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know what to do. She's going to test them out. She's going to use them. <laughs> and then, <laughs> how's the spacing? <laughs> oh, a bit wobbly. <laughs> oh, more camellias. I thought camellias would be a good option because they can be kept quite narrow, but yes, you still get all yes, the flowers. Yes, yes. Yeah. And they're nice and close to pick as well. A little bit of a play area for Zoe. Oh, I think it's fantastic. What are these? So that's uh, convolvulus. It's a... Oh, no, it's all... You know it? Yep. I'll, I'll no, keep quiet then. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you for the whole shoot? Yeah. <laughs> and the purple? Uh, that's a salvia lucantha. Oh. Mexican sage. One of my favourites, those ones. Yeah, yeah it smells that. beautiful. Oh, thank you all very much. Well, the person you need to thank is your gorgeous granddaughter. Oh, no. She's the one who <laughs> wrote you, to Dad. us. <laughs> and thank you for helping me out. Oh, oh, honestly, it's, it, it has been our pleasure and a happy Mother's Day to both of you <laughs> on Sunday.